did Juicy J say he put in that drink? It's got five fruits and vegetables, plus a special secret ingredient. Five fruits and vegetables, and all of them seem to be red. Mm. Apples are red. And peppers. And strawberries. Ooh. And watermelons. George didn't know what cabbage was, but it was the last red thing in the fridge. Five red things. Hmm. Now all George needed was a special ingredient. Ah. <laughs> a red fish? Ah. Why not? Okay, so maybe raw fish is not a special juice ingredient. George decided he'd try again and make a fish-free juice. He started with one of everything. One apple, one strawberry, one pepper, one piece of watermelon, and one whatever this was. That wasn't it at all. He had the red ingredients. What could be the problem? George decided to experiment with different amounts of each ingredient. He used a big piece of paper to keep track. So George added strawberries. <coughs> Too sweet. George added more peppers. <coughs> it still wasn't right. And it certainly didn't pass the Hundley test. <coughs> Maybe George needed more of these things. Close, but George thought more apples might help. George's juice was perfect. Well, almost. It still needed a special secret ingredient. Where could he find one of those? Dear, dear. See, can I interest you in today's special? Special? That's exactly what he was looking for. It's eggplant piccata with extra amounts of piccata. Mm. Oh, those are radishes. Try one, try one. <laughs> oh, oh, but careful. Radishes are a little eh, speziato. That means spicy. Radishes were spicy, but spicy might be good in a drink. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I know. Help yourself, Georgie. <laughs> Just the radishes? Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> George hoped that one radish would do the trick. George had done it. His juice was just as good as Juicy J's. Better even. <laughs>